to test if a number is a primitive root when our p is slightly higher than the first method would allow, or is reasonable to use the first method to find it out. Um, it's very easy to find if something is primitive if we know the factorization of p minus 1. For example, if p is 19, the question is, is alpha equals 2 a primitive root, root mod 19? So first we find p minus 1 is 18, and we factor it. We know that it is 2 times 3 times 3, so it equals 2 times 3 squared. Now we have to check every prime factor, which we're calling q, in this formula. We're asking if alpha to the power p minus 1 over q is equal to 1 mod p. So first we check for q equals 2, or for our first prime factor here. 2, our alpha, is 19 minus 1 over 2 equals 2 to the 9, which is not equal to 1 mod 19. For our other prime factor, 3, we have alpha equals 2 uh, to the 19 minus 1 over 3 is equals 2 to the 6 which is also not equal to 1 mod 19. So since for all prime factors of p minus 1, all being 2 and 3 in this case, alpha to the p minus 1 over q was not equal to mod 19. Hence, alpha equals 2 is a primitive root, mod 19. If alpha to the p minus 1 over q had been congruent to 1, mod 19, for any of them, alpha would not be considered a primitive root.